against Russia's invasion of Ukraine are continuing for a sixth consecutive day here in Barcelona's Plaza San Jaume. Around 200 people are gathered here at this event and there's a much larger one scheduled for tomorrow at 6.30pm in Plaza Catalunya. Some 200 entities have adhered to that demonstration. This is Catalan News in 100 seconds. Protests in Barcelona against Russia's attack on Ukraine continued for a sixth day. A platform called Aturem la Guerra, or Stop War in Catalan, comprised of 200 entities, will hold a larger protest tomorrow. They urge the EU and the rest of the international community to put their efforts into stopping violence. Meanwhile, 73 Ukrainians who can't return home have been given accommodation in Catalan hotels. Spain will no longer impose quarantines for COVID-19 close contacts from Saturday, even if they are not vaccinated. PM Pedro Sánchez said that the face mask mandate indoors will also be reconsidered soon. Catalonia is in favour of the end of self-isolations. Es veu amb bons ulls la, la, totes aquelles mesures que signifiquin que anem fent passos endavant, sigui respecte a les quarantenes o sigui també amb les mascaretes. Discrimination, unfair commerce and ethical challenges are the main dangers of artificial intelligence. This is according to data scientists at a Mobile World Congress event organized by the Catalan Data Protection Authority. Hay gente que está usando la, la reconocimiento facial para predecir personalidad y otros, otros, otros factores de la persona que no tienen ninguna validez científica. The Mobile Industry Fair entered its second day with the metaverse as one of its main themes. The UK's most wanted woman was arrested in the Ebre Delta region while walking her dog. Sarah Panitske was convicted in 2013 for her role in a 1.2 billion euro tax fraud. Sitges is tonight holding its most famous carnival event, the Extermination Parade. This is the craziest one before the carnival spirit is buried tomorrow and Lent begins. Now that's all that we have time for today from Barcelona's Plaza San Jaume. Many thanks for watching and many thanks for trusting Catalan News. We'll see you again tomorrow.